pure grip socks, possibly my most controversial review to date, as many people jumped to the defense of the product and also its creator, Josh, from over at SR4U. I have used these many times more since my initial review, and has my opinion changed? Actually, no, it has got worse. I am disappointed with the durability and quality of these particular socks. However, Josh appears to have answered pretty much all of my complaints by releasing these, the Pure Grip Socks Pro. These are an updated premium version of the original Pure Grip Socks for just an extra $2. So today, are these actually any better than the original ones? Do I like this particular Pure Grip Socks Pro? And is it worth your money? And is it worth the extra $2 off an original pair of pure grip socks. All of that to find out. I'm James, this is Boot Wizard. Please remember to like the video, get subscribed to the channel, and if you can support us, head to patreon.com forward slash boot wizard. Let's do this. Quickly, we'll take a look at the visual differences between the two. There's been some design changes. First one being this red band that runs through the midfoot. No, it doesn't actually do anything. It is just design, but you know what? I think I quite like it. I think it's just a nice little touch and it does seem to make the socks feel a little bit more premium. The Pure logo has also been changed down the back. So instead of this black solid stripe, you get this kind of single stripe with the inverted Pure going up and down the back. And I think I prefer that as well. So we are two for two in positives on the new Pure Grip Socks. However, something that is more important that you can also see visually is if you put these socks kind of over the top of each other. Now these are both exactly the same size. You will note that the Pure Grip Sock Pro is a smaller sock. And that is because the material has been changed and the material that makes this stretchy has been changed. And it's all positive. The way that this fits is significantly better than how this fits. Firstly, I'm potentially going to do Josh a favor here because when he did his launch video for these, he mentioned that they have used a new material in these particular socks, but that he didn't want to pay for the licensing of the name of that material. So he couldn't say it. He just had to sell it, tell us that it was in there and that it was an improvement. My assumption with the help of my friend over at the Gaijin boot blog, Andrew, is that the material he's speaking about is Lycra. If we look at so many of the socks on the market, not just football socks, socks generally, Lycra is a key premium component that a lot of them use and advertise. I assume Josh is using Lycra in these pure grip socks, but he doesn't want to pay to put the logo on the socks. So he's chosen not to and therefore can't advertise it. But Lycra is the mystery material as far as I can work out. That Lycra means that the distance the stock can stretch is further, the likelihood of it springing back into its original shape is better, and most importantly, compared to my long-term experience with these Pure Grip Socks, it means that they're going to last longer. The material is not going to degrade quite as quickly, and overall, it's just going to be a better quality sock for a longer period of time, and I can't express how much better the fit is on these. If you watch my original video, you will note that I complained about the fact that the heel in these bunches up in my, the back of my boots. It kind of rides up the back. That changes with the Pure Grip Socks Pro, where it just fits better. And I don't have that issue. And if I do have that issue with a particularly tight fitting pair of boots, it's actually fairly easy to rectify. So I have no negative so far when comparing this to the old to the OG Pure Grip Sock. Some of the things that remain from the original are the anatomical shaping. So that means you get right and left feet in order to match the shape of your feet. That is a huge plus. Should be on every Grip Sock and Pure is one of the only sock manufacturers that actually do this. They also come in a variety of sizes instead of one size fits all, which again is a huge plus and something that far few manufacturers actually do. 
The grip pattern and shape remains the same, as does the material as far as I can tell, and that is these triangles that run all the way through the sock, which allow it to remain nice and flexible, and they are placed in key contact zones, which again, is it's a nice idea, and it is pretty smart, where it only runs through the contact area of the midfoot instead of on the whole sock. I did a review recently of a pair of socks that have too much grip, if you can believe it, and this is a smart way of avoiding that happening. The grip still does run up the heel, which again, I think is a positive thing and definitely something that more grip socks should do. With the grips themselves, it is an area where I kind of want to see the durability improved, maybe on another generation. You can see here, on my original pair of pure socks that the triangles are starting to come off, especially in the heel and especially on the other foot. They are just falling off all over the place. This isn't really fantastic. The durability is poor. Um, so I'm hoping that these last a bit longer. They've been fine so far over testing. Um, there's nothing coming off just yet, uh, but the material, the adhesive all seems to be the same, so only time will tell. If I have any major problems, I will make another video, so get subscribed for that one. Final thing to talk about is the material itself, which is so much nicer. The material on these is scratchy and it's not great. It's very, very bog standard. It's the cheapest I would expect from pretty much any grip sock. It is only, there's only maybe one grip sock that has, in my opinion, worse material than these Pures. This, however, this is what I'm talking about. This is some really nice material. It feels a lot better. It actually feels a lot closer to what you get on the tape design socks, which generally have the best quality or the best feeling material of most of this style of grip socks that I have tried before. So let's put the Pure Grip Sock Pro up against some of its peers, some of its contemporaries in this style of grip sock. And it is a particular style. It's the tube sock style with added grip elements rather than something that's a little bit more advanced from say maybe a light guard or a falker or even a true sock. This is a different style of sock, but they're all fairly similar. Where does the Pure Grip Sock rank? Let's bring up the table. Let's bring up my tier ranking table. There is not a single sock that has so far got out of the cheesy category in this particular style, because they're all basically the same, and I've not been impressed by any of them. And I am going to do something big. I'm going to put the Pure Grip Socks Pro up into that middle category, up into that middle category that I called the Nike Crew, because the idea being that I would rather wear a Nike Crew than pretty much anything that I have in this particular style. There are a couple of exceptions, another review coming soon, but the Pure Grip Socks Pro, they deserve to be up there. They're a very good sock, and the improvements are fantastic. Honestly, the Pure Grip Sock, the original Pure Grip Sock in this form should have never made it to the market. This is what the Pure Grip Sock should be. Should you spend the extra $2 to get this over this? There is no question about that. There's no competition. This sock is worth the extra $2. And now that it's at $16.99, it's still cheaper than a lot of stuff that is out there. And it still makes it a viable proposition if you're looking to save some money. I am going to address the shipping because I address the shipping in every single video about, about Grip Socks in general, not just Pure because shipping is too damn expensive for a damn pair of socks. Um, Got to give SR4U, Pure Grip Socks, Josh some credit. They have reduced the shipping cost. It's come down by $5. It's now $10 to ship to me in Ireland, and it's roughly about that price for most places around the world, even in the US and Canada. That bumps the price of these to $26. It's too expensive when you put shipping into it. Yes, if you go ahead and buy three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs, it becomes a little bit more viable because that price for shipping doesn't go up no matter how many pairs that you buy. So if you want to buy multiple pairs or you want to buy socks and sleeves, then you're going to save yourself a bit of money. I would advise getting some friends together if there's a few of you wanting to pick up some grip socks and buying all as one to save yourself the money because one pair at $16.99 plus $10 for shipping, it's not really an amount that I'm willing to spend for a pair of grip socks, even a good pair of grip socks um, in this particular style. It's too much money. Um, but get a few people together, or if you're buying multiple items, then it's worth a shout. And the only thing we've got to say to Josh now is that these have got to come in more colors. The original Pure Grip Socks come in a ton of colors, which is a great option for people 
the Pure Grip Sock Pro needs to be in these because they're, I will say it again, in my opinion, there is no need for anybody to buy a regular pair of Pure Grip Socks because they are not good enough compared to the Pure Grip Socks Pro. Spend the extra $2 and get yourself what is actually a very good grip sock. But that is all from me here today. Have a good one. Me and my socks. We'll see you soon.